Hi guys, well today I'm going to be building uh, this entryway table made with plywood, hardwood and uh, beautiful dovetail drawers on the inside. So let's get building. I'm Lynn and this is the Darwin Orbit channel. So I started with the top. I had some extra EP that I had cut up for the media stand counter. Uh, so cutting those down a little bit and then I went inside the shop to glue up the counter. The size here is quite a bit smaller than the other counter I made, so it was very manageable to put together. So drawing the lines to remind myself which side is up, marking out where the dowels need to go, and uh, then using the doweling jig here to drill holes. I figured the three dowel holes across the piece should be plenty, so just going down the line on each board. And uh, I'll tell you, after working on a larger counter, this small one felt so tiny and fun to put together. Putting down some glue and uh, clamping this whole thing together. Then I let it set up. Now the next day I realized the crack which previously was quite small in one section had drastically increased so I mixed some epoxy, the fixer of everything, and uh, clamped it up and it actually worked out really great. Once the epoxy had dried I set up the circular saw and cut the piece to size. And then I started the process of thorough sanding. To uh, chamfer the edges I used a block plane. And I really like using the hand tools here, because it gives you great control. Then time for more sanding. And uh, finally finishing. I'm using a wipe-on gel urethane, which gives the piece a really nice feel without being overly glossy. And totally, I put on three coats. Now, let's focus on the base. So this piece of furniture is primarily made with plywood and I'm using pure bond plywood which you can pick up at any Home Depot here in the US or Canada. Uh, I'm looking through the selection here and I chose oak for this project, however there are a number of other veneers available. You can actually order the uh, pure bond plywood online and you can get it shipped to your home if you don't want to pick it up in the store. However they can also cut it up for you at Home Depot and they're always super friendly. I actually always use this service because it's a lot easier for those of us who don't have a truck <laughs> to bring plywood home this way. So I brought it home and started cutting the plywood to size and I'm just using a circular saw here since the pieces are kind of large at this point. So this plywood is actually made with a soy-based formaldehyde-free formulation and it's constructed with a renewable and responsibly harvested North American hardwoods, which is awesome. I'm always a little concerned that certain plywoods use weird and rather unhealthy glues, so it's really nice to know that that's not the case here. I mean, considering how much plywood I use in all sorts of different projects, it's definitely something I find quite important. And this is the kind of plywood I use for most of my projects. So I started building the base here, and these corner clamps really make it easy to get perfectly square corners. For the construction, I'm simply using glue and screws, and I'm pretty much building a box. So putting in a middle shelf here, and then a separator, and I'm using a clamp to keep it in place. Then uh, painting the unit, and I'm also adding some additional support in the back with some pocket screws. Now the drawer fronts are going to go on the outside here, so I've got some thin strips of plywood that I'm going to attach to the sides to create an even look. And I'm just cutting these to size and then attaching with a nail gun. Once that was complete, I brought the piece out and started with adding some spackle on the sides of the plywood. And this actually makes a huge difference when you want to create a nice smooth surface, including the end grain. And then I gave the whole piece a couple of coats of paint and it's looking good. Now let's move on to the feet. So I'm making tapered legs out of EP. These are matching the feet in the media stand, however they're attached shorter. 
This time I was a little smarter and I cut the pieces the perfect length first and then shaped that one piece. So I didn't do any further cutting on the lathe, which was a lot faster. Then after drilling a hole in each leg, I epoxied in a bolt. Then I used a clamp to attach a T-nut in each corner of the bottom shelf. Okay, so I have the drawers to work on now. I'm actually using some really nice maple here that I'm cutting to size. Now to connect the drawers together, I'm using a dovetail jig. And once you have this set up right, it's really fun to use and it makes for some very handsome drawers. I mean, I could definitely see using this more, especially if I was making a lot of drawers. For the bottom of the drawers, I have some quarter inch maple glued up here. Now to hold the drawers in place, I'm routing out a quarter inch groove in the sides. Then to make the drawers slide in easily, I'm chamfering the edges with a block plane. And uh, this is so the bottom can float freely. Then it was simply a matter of gluing the drawers together, inserting the bottom, and uh, gluing on the final piece. I decided to finish the drawers with a water-based polyurethane, which is really nice because it dries so quickly. To attach the drawers, I'm using some really nice drawer slides, and uh, this jig just makes it easier to attach. And the sound when they click in place is just awesome. And uh, both the drawers are in. Now to attach the uh, drawer fronts, I first put on some hot glue to fit them perfectly, and then I used some of these really handy clamps before screwing it in from the back. Only one last thing missing, the hardware. So I'm making some matching EPA knobs on the lathe here. So I've got a two inch block with a 15 64 inch hole drilled all the way through. Then I'm forming a knob, making sure it's the right size, sanding and finishing with some shellac before cutting it off. And then repeating with the second one. Then I've got some really cool hardware that makes it very easy to create this and attach it to your project. And for a final touch, I'm adding some of my Tang Oil beeswax polish with some steel wool. And it just makes it super smooth. And it's done! So I think this is going to be really great in my space here and I also really like how it's matching uh, my media stand right here so it looks really nice together. So yeah, don't forget to check out the links in the description for the products used and uh, otherwise thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.